Hey everyone. For those who have been following the Three Eye Atlas saga here on the channel, things just got much more serious. Avi Loeb from Harvard just made an official bet that by 2030 we'll have undeniable evidence of extraterrestrial technology, and he's putting his money where his mouth is. But it doesn't stop there. Loeb also dropped a statement that's setting the scientific community on fire. He compared comet experts to limited artificial intelligence systems that only know how to repeat what they've learned. And look, the implications of this are devastating for those who still insist that Atlas is just a comet. Let's get straight to what matters. Loeb published on his medium that in recent days, seven jets were observed around three. I, Atlas, seven. And here's the crucial point he raises. Comet experts insist these jets came from ice sublimation, but Loeb questions, what if they're spacecraft thrusters? And look at the devastating analogy he made. According to Loeb, comet experts are like artificial intelligence systems trained only with comet data. If you train an artificial intelligence only with comet data, it will say that any object in the sky is a comet regardless of the anomalies it presents. Loeb went even further and said that's exactly why Oumuamua was classified as a dark comet, a comet that doesn't have comet characteristics. It accelerated without leaving gas or dust trails. And here's the brilliant point Loeb raises. Technological objects like SpaceX's Tesla Roadster and NASA probes behave exactly like dark comets because they are of technological origin. But here we reach the moment of truth that Loeb is proposing. He said that in the coming weeks, before Atlas's closest approach to Earth on December 19th, we'll be able to measure the velocity, mass density, and composition of these seven jets. And Loeb was specific. If Atlas is a natural comet, we should find multiple fragments from the perihelion fireworks. If we don't find them, we'll have our definitive answer. Additionally, Loeb revealed that between October 2nd and 3rd, the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter managed to capture side images of Atlas with three zero-kilometer per pixel resolution when it passed 29 million kilometers from Mars. And starting today, November 11th, Loeb was specific about the date. Ground-based observatories can refocus on Atlas because its angular separation from the Sun exceeded 30 degrees. Now, folks, here's the bombshell. Avi Loeb made an official bet with Michael Shermer, executive director of the Skeptics Society. Loeb bet that by December 31st, 2033, that is, in five years, we'll have indisputable scientific evidence of an extraterrestrial technological artifact. And look at the official statement Loeb made to the Long Now Foundation. The search for technological artifacts actually began in 2025 with the discovery of the anomalous interstellar object 3, I Atlas. He's not kidding around, people. Loeb also said something that gave me chills. Given that there are billions of Earth and Sun analogs in the Milky Way, most of them billions of years older than the solar system, we should engage in the scientific search for extraterrestrial technological artifacts. But here's where Loeb really didn't spare anyone. He said that when questioned by eight podcasters and reporters about why experts are so dismissive of alternative interpretations, he made a brutal comparison. According to Loeb, scientists without imagination are like limited artificial intelligence systems. Both just repeat their training data sets. And he was direct. If you trained artificial intelligence systems only with comet data, they would argue that any object in the sky is a comet, regardless of the anomalies it presents. Loeb also mentions something that should make all experts reflect. They refuse to include in their training data examples of technological objects like NASA's 2020 SO or SpaceX's Tesla Roadster, which behave exactly like dark comets because they are of technological origin. And Loeb closed with a profound reflection that made me think. He said, We are born for a short stay on a rock we call Earth a small relic from the formation of a nearby star we call the Sun, which formed in the last third of cosmic history. For those just joining or wanting to remember this entire incredible story that Loeb is scientifically documenting, I'll do a complete recap. Because according to Loeb himself, this could be the discovery that marks the official beginning of the search for extraterrestrial technological artifacts. Atlas is the third confirmed interstellar object we know of, and as Loeb has emphasized, it's radically different from anything we've ever seen.
Loeb always highlights the size. We're talking about an object that's a million times more massive than Oumuamua and a thousand times larger than Borisov. And as he calculated himself, the statistical probability of an object being simultaneously so large and so fast is less than 0.1%. Now let's get to the anomalies that made Loeb bet his scientific reputation. First anomaly, impossible trajectory. Avi Loeb calculated that the probability of this retrograde trajectory aligned with the ecliptic plane is only 0.2%. As he said himself, it's statistically almost impossible. Atlas is moving in a retrograde trajectory that is in the opposite direction to planetary movement. According to Loeb's calculations, it's like someone shooting a basketball backwards and having it go exactly through the center of the hoop. Second anomaly, seven directional jets. Here's the most recent discovery Loeb published. Seven jets were observed in recent days. And Loeb asked the question nobody wants to answer, why assume they're ice sublimation and not thrusters? As Loeb himself questioned, if technological objects like NASA probes behave like dark comets, why not consider this possibility for Atlas? Third anomaly, size and speed. As Loeb has repeatedly emphasized, Atlas is gigantic compared to other interstellar objects, but it's also faster. According to his calculations, in nature, larger objects tend to move slower due to energy conservation. The probability of this combination is less than 0.1%. Fourth anomaly, perfect timing. This is what most impresses Loeb statistically. Atlas arrived at the exact moment to pass close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, and still remain invisible from Earth during its perihelion. Loeb calculated that the probability of this is 0.005%, 5 in 100,000. Fifth anomaly, strange metallic composition. Analyses that Loeb has cited revealed that Atlas has a much higher nickel to iron ratio than any known comet. As Loeb observed, this ratio resembles the metallic alloys we produce industrially here on Earth. Sixth anomaly, lack of water. Avi Loeb always emphasizes that comets are basically dirty snowballs, but Atlas has only 4% water by mass. As he said himself, it's like finding an iceberg that's 96% rock. Seventh anomaly, extreme negative polarization. According to observations Loeb has been analyzing, Atlas shows an extreme negative polarization pattern that has never been observed in any other comet. As Loeb explained, it's as if Atlas is twisting light in a way that no natural materials simply don't do. Eighth anomaly, wow, signal direction. Avi Loeb has highlighted that Atlas came from a direction that coincides within a margin of only nine degrees with the origin of the famous wow signal from 1,977. As he calculated himself in the context of interstellar space, this is statistically significant. Ninth anomaly, impossible blue brightness, recently discovered, and we arrive at the discovery Loeb has been analyzing. Near perihelion, Atlas shone more intensely than any known comet and became bluer than the sun itself. According to Loeb, this is physically very difficult to explain with normal cometary materials. But here's where Loeb elevates the discussion to another level. He said something that changed my perspective. The main threat to new knowledge is the arrogance of experts. Loeb also made a profound observation about our position in the cosmos. Most of the 100 billion stars in our galaxy formed billions of years before the sun. Our track record is not very impressive in the cosmic scheme of things. And he concluded with something that should humble us. There's a vast amount of space and time we've never explored. We can learn new things as long as we maintain humility and an open mind. According to Loeb, we should consider that our Voyager probes will take less than a billion years to cross the Milky Way disk. If we can do that, civilizations billions of years older certainly can do much more. Loeb was specific about what to expect. In the coming weeks before December 19th, we'll be able to measure velocity, density, and composition of the jets. If we don't find the expected fragments of a natural comet, we'll have our answer. And as Loeb said in his official bet, it's better to be optimistic because life is sometimes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Loeb also mentioned that the search is intensifying with the launch of the Rubin Observatory and the construction of three Galileo Project observatories. 
according to him, we're entering a new era of systematic search for technological artifacts. Folks, when a Harvard astrophysicist bets money that we'll have evidence of extraterrestrial technology by 2030, and when he says that the search for technological artifacts actually began in 2025 with three I atlas, we need to pay attention, as Loeb himself said, by maintaining curiosity and humility while gathering clues in this detective story, science unites us. And his final reflection struck me, we're in a scientific search for extraterrestrial technological artifacts because it's better to be optimistic because life is sometimes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And you guys, do you agree with Loeb's bet? Do you think by 2030 we'll have definitive confirmation? Leave your theories in the comments. And if you want to follow every new statement from Loeb about Atlas, subscribe to the channel because December promises to be historic. Until next time.